Okay, good afternoon YouTube, Fat Cat Collections back at you with another fragrance review. And this time, we're going to be talking about one by Tim McGraw, or that holds that has a name by Tim McGraw. And this one's called Tim McGraw, McGraw's Southern Blend. Now, I just did a video review uh, a couple hours ago, um, and that was on the original McGraw by Tim McGraw. And the, the house on this particular one, the nose behind, is Cody. And Cody came out with, like, lots of fragrances that you'll find in your department stores. They tend to come out with fragrances that are kind of your cheapies. And they've been around for a really long time. I believe Cody's a nose behind uh, Aspen and ones like, uh, uh, what else, Aspen and, and I, I'm not sure if Joe Von Musk. not really sure on that one, but um, there's lots of ones. When you go into like your Rite Aid, a lot of the fragrances that have been out for a really long time, Cody is the nose behind that. And they've been making perfumes and fragrances for years, okay? And um, they make cheaper fragrances. And generally the ones that are... Uh, you know, your 9 to $20 fragrances. And I have to tell you that this is one, the Tim McGraw ones, um, you know, Tim McGraw is a, a country singer and a country artist. And, you know, he's a cowboy. And, and that whole cowboy, b dirty kind of theme is what intrigued me to want to get this particular juice. Because when you think of a cowboy, you think of leather and masculinity and, and being manly and all those kind of things that you associate with being a cowboy. Just hard work and rough, you know, hard day's work. You know, you don't picture a cowboy wearing a suit. Not to say they don't wear suits, but you understand what I'm trying to say. There is a theme that goes along with, uh, you know, being a cowboy. And hence the name Southern Blend. Just, I mean, that's just the perfect name for this particular juice, okay? If that came out correctly, okay? So, I basically was at Walmart the other day, and I happened to find this in an unopen, in an open package, and I, I didn't want to buy it quite yet on, on eBay or anything like that because I wanted to smell it because some of the ones I blind buy on eBay, I, I kind of um, depend upon people reviewing them, see what they say, and see if it might be something I like. I use Fragrantica, Base Notes, to kind of get an idea of something I would like. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know that I really, really like woods, tobaccos, uh, ouds, and leather-based fragrances. Those are my favorites. I think they're very exotic. I like the earthy, woody fragrances. And so I figured this is something I probably would like. But like I said, I wanted to smell it first. Well, I was at Walmart, and somebody had ripped apart the packaging. This was in the near the Christmas lights, 50% off, and it had no packaging, no tags on it. And I know what this stuff goes for online, you know, anywhere from for the one ounce, like 9 to $25. And I just didn't want to spend that because I kind of feel like it's more of an expensive juice for my tastes compared to what you're getting um, you know, online, like, I mean, I don't really want to spend $25 for Tim McGraw's cologne, you know, when there's so many other ones you can get for $25 that have just been discounted because they've been out for so long. Well, I took this up to the register and asked the lady, hey, you know, this doesn't have any packaging or anything like that. What can you do on this? And so she said $5. And I got both these, two one-ounce containers, McGraw by Tim McGraw and McGraw Southern Blend for $5. So it was definitely worth it. It was a steal. And uh, I have heard other people finding steals like that as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is just tell you a little bit about what's in the cologne. And then I'm going to tell you what I smell and do I like it or not. And that's what I want you to take from my videos. If you have a similar nose to me and you like similar fragrances that I've already reviewed and like, then you might like this one too. And I've already said in my other video that this reminds me of another fragrance that I really, really like. And so that might help you decide to make the purchase. So let me tell you a little bit more about it, okay? So this one came out in 2009. Um, looks like it's available in three different sizes, 15, 30, and 50 mils. Um, the perfumer on this one is Richard Kirpin. Never, you know, I don't, I don't really know any of these perfumers, but a little information for you. Um, this, uh, let's see what they say about it. This is the essence of the man from the South who is masculine, charismatic, strong, but also sexy and tough at the same time, okay? The composition includes grapefruit, star anise, bergamot, Lavender, violet leaf, whiskey, vetiver, amber, and tobacco. Um, and I'm just going to, that's what's in it. So let me just read you the notes. The top notes are going to be your bergamot, star anise, and grapefruit. Your middle notes were the whiskey, the violet leaf, and lavender. And then your base notes are tobacco, amber, and of course, vetiver. Now, this fragrance is really, really intriguing. And I'm just going to put a little bit on here because I'm wearing McGraw on the other side, right, on my other arm. And this is a Southern Blend. And this. Man, this is this is a fantastic juice, and I, I was just you know I kind of forgot because I wore this one yesterday and I wore, um, earlier in the day and I took a shower and I wore Tim McGraw McGraw last night just to see what it smelled like and I said oh man the McGraw is really good but the Southern Blend is fantastic. Now this reminds me of something and I I'm not really sure what it reminds me of because I've smelled 
other scents are similar to this. And I think because, you know, all these scents are so similar when it comes to, like, what's in them. And they just tweak the compositions where it changes the way they smell. But there's always going to be similarities when you smell colognes. Unless you're looking at one that's super fruity versus one that's super tobacco-y or woodsy. But this one here, you definitely get that nice blast of whiskey in there. Not as much whiskey as the standard Tim McGraw or the McGraw. But you definitely get that whiskey. You get the vetiver. And I think that's what I'm smelling there is the vetiver. And I'm not really sure if that smells like wood. Um... I would have said that this had oak moss in it or cedar wood or even oud because when this started to dry down yesterday, whatever you smell in the initial blast, and there is a slight sweetness to it, that definitely dries down and then the wood really starts to come out in about half an hour and then it becomes a very nice whiskey based woodsy fragrance. And I think what you're probably, what I'm probably smelling in the initial blast is probably a lot of whiskey right in that initial blast. But man, guys, this is. This is a gem as far as I'm concerned. This has turned into one of my favorite scents. Now, as far as longevity, I don't know how long this is going to last on my skin. Um, I'm going to wear this one to work tomorrow and see what other people think about it and see how long it lasts. But um, compared to McGraw, there is a real difference between these two, but a similarity. And I think the similarity comes in from the whiskey note in these these ones here. Um, I love whiskey notes. I think they smell fantastic. And this, I consider um, a kind of a, a spicy oriental scent, if that makes any sense to you. Um, but what I do consider this one to be very similar to, and again, they smell nothing alike, but this is in the same kind of category as Dirty English by Juicy Couture. This stuff here has a kind of a booziness, quality to it and a, a, a kind of a rough, tough cowboy kind of smell to it. I know that's really difficult to, well, I'm trying to describe it the best way I can, but this is a man scent right here. So if you have not tried, and vice versa, if you have tried Tim McGraw and you watch my video and you like the Tim McGraw fragrances, definitely check out Juicy Couture's Dirty English. You will definitely like this scent if you like this kind of theme and scents. If you have tried Juicy Couture and you have not tried Tim McGraw, I urge you to definitely get the Southern Blend of any of the Tim McGraw fragrances. I think you'll really, really like this one. This one here, one spray, I could definitely smell it projecting. And, man, you just get that whiskey. And now, now I get, I'm getting the wood coming out of it, which is really weird because they don't list wood as being in, in the, uh, the list of notes. But you definitely have the tobacco coming out as well. So what I might be smelling is the combination of vetiver and tobacco that's kind of making it making me think of other fragrances that have a lot of wood in them, like cedar wood. But it does not have cedar wood in it. But man, ugh, that is, this is a great fragrance, guys. I can't believe this is as cheap as it is. I mean, you and like I said, you can pick it up on eBay. I'll put a link in the description to take you to this particular juice, and I'll put a link in the description to also take you to the video for this one where you can click the link and buy this one as well. But folks, this is a steal. Um... Like I said in my other video is that, you know, I, I'm like a $20 and under kind of guy. This is definitely something I will pick up in my collection. Now, would I pay $40 for it? Probably not. But that's not because it's not a great juice. It's just because that's my, my kind of sweet spot. I like the 20 and under. But this one here um, is, like I said, this is fantastic. If you have not tried this, definitely pick it up for your collection. If you like tobacco, boozy fragrances, you're going to absolutely love this one. There is a manly quality to this. There is a sweetness to it and definitely that tobacco and wood. And that's why this has turned into be one of my favorites because I tend to like those fragrances. Shoot, I'm going to wear this one today. Ah, man, that is fantastic. And it does remind me of something else in my collection. I can't really place what it is, but I'll figure it out eventually and put it in the description. So there you go, folks. That was my two cents on Tim McGraw's Southern Blend. I definitely recommend this cologne. This is definitely going to turn into be one of my new favorites. Um, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Um, we got a lot more videos and reviews coming at you. Um, and what else? Uh, as always, have a wonderful day, folks. Tim McGraw, Southern Blend.